Hi, I'm Trevor Wicks of Trentec Innovations. This video will explain an innovative method that I developed a few years ago to build three-dimensional landform models. The 3D models, or maps, can illustrate many types of geography and land uses. These scale models are lightweight, durable, and can be very helpful in a wide range of applications. The models can be built in a home workshop using hobby tools that include a scroll saw equipped with a spiral blade. The materials required consist of a sheet of high density 2 inch styrofoam, paint, glue and wood for the frame and case. First you will have to obtain a contour map of the area which is glued onto the styrofoam sheet. The rivers and contour lines are highlighted with distinctive colors. The rivers and creeks are then cut into the surface with the craft knife. I cut the map into manageable pieces following the significant features and highlighted lines. Starting at the lowest elevation, the map is then cut, cut into contour levels and these contours are hot glued in place at the appropriate height. The model starts to take shape in three dimensions. Using the contour lines as a guide, I carved the paper map away, marking the creeks in blue. Then I slightly heat the surface to form a smooth finish, and do this outside in the open air. Next I remove the major ridges from the back of the model. I build a wooden frame to support the model and the perimeter case. Spaces are cut to the exact height to hold the model at the correct elevation. And then the model is fastened to the frame with long screws. White glue, paint and paper towel are used to create the consistent finish and the surface has to dry completely before sanding out any creases. A mixture of plaster, paint and white glue is applied to create a hard natural looking surface. And I mark the rivers and water bodies and then paint the underwater colors before installing clear plexiglass as a level surface for the water. Next, inside panels are cut and painted, and these panels are screwed to the frame and glued to the model. The land part portion is then painted, or an aerial photograph is glued on. Labels and several coats of latex urethane are applied to seal and strengthen the surface. The case and finishes can be adapted to the type of application required. The reason I made this video is because I feel that the process has a lot of potential and good ideas should be made available for everyone. Thank you for watching.